Hello, hello. This is the second boss in Ninja Gaiden 2. This boss tends to be um, one of the biggest uh, blocks in the game for a lot of gamers, especially on hard mode. Um, as you can see, he's a uh, he's flaming all over the place, and this is something that I did not recognize from uh, before when I had played uh, Ninja Gaiden originally. He did not have these flaming techniques last time I played. So one of the best ways to actually try to beat him is you just land ults on him. As you can see right there, you land an ult, you take off a huge chunk of HP, and it's awesome. Um, it's incredibly useful to obviously be able to land and use your ults instantaneously. Also, uh, every 25% of his HP, he will spawn two additional adds. Um, that is assuming that you kill them. If you just leave them there, he won't continue to spawn them as, like, the battle goes on. But obviously, I want to be doing this because I want as many adds to spawn as possible so I can take off as much HP as possible with the ultimate. Basically, just keep note of where he is. When the adds spawn, what you're going to want to do is mainly try to just, like, block and control your HP. Um, watch for the boss's movement, take down the adds. While the, as soon as the adds are down, use the essence they drop in order to land an ult on the boss. Whenever you land an ult on the boss, it just gets you one step closer to actually taking him out. But... As you know, sometimes actually landing the ult is a problem. Especially when he moves around this much. That was a waste. Hey, at least I get some essence out of it. Don't know where that came from. If I can land one... Oh, wow. He just can keep spawning more and more and more ads. Landing that was great. I think I might be able to kill him right here. Excellent. So, this is how you defeat this particular boss on this particular level. Excellent. Thanks, guys.